Hi everyone, I am Karusin and today I want to show you how you can automate enabling and disabling MIDI tracks in Ableton Live. So when you are performing live, you can use the same MIDI controller like a MIDI keyboard to control different instruments depending of the time and the part of the song that's currently playing. Here we are in Ableton and we have two instrument tracks with instances of Massive on them and we have two empty MIDI tracks that we will use for routing. Unfortunately, you cannot directly automate uh, the record arm or the input monitoring of a track, but you can automate turning tracks on and off. And we will use this uh, with our third and fourth MIDI track to send MIDI data to the instruments when we want to control them live in our set. First, we should uh, disable the inputs of our instrument tracks. This way, they won't directly react to the MIDI controller, to the MIDI notes, um, because we only want them playing uh, when we have enabled it in the automation. Now we will set up our empty MIDI tracks to send MIDI data to our two instrument tracks. So we set the output of the first empty MIDI track to the first instrument track and the output of the second empty MIDI track to the second instrument track. Now we will create automation to enable and disable the routing tracks, the empty MIDI tracks, when we want to control one of our instruments live. Whenever the first empty MIDI track is enabled, it will send MIDI data to the first instrument track and the second empty MIDI track will send data to the second instrument track. This way we can precisely control when we want to send MIDI data from our MIDI controller or MIDI keyboard to one of our instruments. We can leave the input monitoring setting of all of our tracks uh, on auto, but we have to record arm them all for this to work. I hope this was helpful to you and that you can use this concept in your live performances.